Hey folks, and welcome back to Magical Diary. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I played this. I think the last time I played, I bombed my exam. But the good news is I have a wand now, so I've got some mad magic skills and shit here. Okay, so, um... Okay, mana, agile glow, moves around, okay, da da So, um, my diary? Okay, so yeah, pretty a big test, da 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 da. Red magic class, okay. Because I, like, totally forgot what the hell does red magic do. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so, let me, um... Hey, you guys, are either of you interested in running for class office? Oh, hell no! Like president? <laughs> you go, Ellen. I don't think. What do you have to do to run? Um, bullshitting generally is a good skill to have. Not much. You just have to tell the teachers by the end of this week that you want to run. The next week, everybody votes. Simple enough. Oh, and you have to have a clean record. No demerits. Well, hell, that uh, knocks me out. Yeah. Unless you know how to get rid of demerits. There must be some way to earn merits and balance your record. Maybe you could ask one of the professors to let you do an extra credit project. You won't catch me asking for extra work anyway. There are only two positions for the freshman class, president and treasurer. The upper classes have more because they do more events and stuff. The freshman officers don't do anything? I'm sure they do something, just not as much. Like the junior class is in charge of the prom, and that's a big deal. And then the same people who run the prom junior year have to run initiation at the start of the next year because elections haven't been held yet. It's a ton of work. Oh, screw that noise. It's much easier for freshmen. You probably just have to go to meetings with the teachers and nod a lot. Oh, well, I can do that. So, are you interested? Uh, no one would vote for me. Oh, I think Donald would. But that's why I'm asking. See, Minnie Cochran's obviously going to win president, so it's not even worth trying for that. But the treasurer position is open. Who the hell is Minnie Cochran? I've never heard of her. Pastel says, Jacob says, he thinks he'll win it easy. So I want someone else to win. Anyone else. No good luck with that. William isn't running for president in his class again this year, so it's perfect. He can endorse a freshman candidate, and they're sure to win. I'm not sure that's... Why don't you run? No way. Class officers have to do meetings with teachers. I see way too much of them in class already. Speaking of which, we need to pick our classes for the week. Yes, we do. Okay, so what am I weekend? Black definitely black. Uh, you know what? I'm going to double up on black this week. And um, 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 let's do white. How am I on stress? I can study. And yeah, let's go ahead and do let's do red. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, it's grabby. Uh, anyway. Alright, black magic class. Here we go. Yay! Oh, I learned a new spell. Uh, inspection. Costs one mana. Detects weak points and hidden details within one target object. Hot diggity. Oh. Write or remove words from a target object. Awesome. When I get back to my room this afternoon, the others are already there and they don't look happy. Oh, shit. What's going on? Horrible Donald left a box of cat poop on our doorstep during class. Really, Donald? You're a dick. You know that? It was really mean. Ew! Where would he get that from? I don't know, probably from a cat? Some of the older students might have pets. He must have gotten someone to help. Should we try to find out who? No, this is between him and me. Oh, snap, shit just got real. And the professors. He is so gonna get it for this. You're gonna tell on him? He's gone too far. He has to stop. It's pretty hard to forgive a joke like that. Going out of his way to get a hold of it and then leave it on the doorstep. That's awful. At least it wasn't on fire. Oh, God. That goes Ellen saying what we're all thinking. Seriously, though, Donald, that was a dick move. Shame on you. Woohoo! What? Wait! No! Why, 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 why am I failing? Okay. Yay! There we go. I learned a new spell. Push object, okay. So, are you gonna do it? 
I don't think. Oh, come on. I, I'm not the sort of person. <laughs> Stumpelda, are you gonna run for treasure? Oh, hell no. I can't. You have to have a clean record, remember? Right, right. I'll just have to look somewhere else then. Or maybe you could do it your own damn self. She leaves the room. Ellen sits on her bed and brushes back her hair. Such a strange thing to get so worked up over. Well, she is very competitive. If it really matters so much, she ought to do it herself instead of trying to get everyone else to do it for her. I shrug. I suppose. Do you think... Do you think her brother will do what she says? Promote someone just because she wants him to? Probably. She's his baby sister. He looks out for her. He's so sweet. Yes, he is. Oh, he is, is he? Ellen, have you got a crush on William? What? No! Maybe. She sighs and flops back onto the bed. Yes. Let's see, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not good. You can't. Oh, no, no, don't, don't do that, Stump Elda. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, you like William. So what's the problem? He's cute, he's responsible, he's a good student. He's popular. So? So he can have any girl he wants. And he'd never want a girl like me. Guys want someone pretty who likes makeup and dancing and pouts till she gets her way. Jenny's not even 13 yet, and she's already got boys chasing her. Boys think of me as just a rock with hair. A useless person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> A useless fuzzy love. Shit. William is nice. He would never. But he would never. <laughs> okay, no, I'm okay, really. Tell him you like him. If you like him, you should tell him. No. What's the worst that can happen? He says no, then you know, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, it's friggin' easy for you to say. And what if he likes you and you're just wasting time not knowing it? Well, then why doesn't he get off his ass and say something then? Shit. That's not very likely. You'll never know unless you try. We're horses. We're supposed to be daring. Yeehaw, giddy up. You're cute and clever and sweet. You're not hopeless here. <laughs> A rock with hair, or a fuzzy lump, or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe he likes you, and maybe he doesn't. There's only one way to find out. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so hard. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Virginia stretches and yawns. So are you and William working on your plan to take over the class today? Well, we can't today, exactly. Why not? He's not here. What do you mean he's not here? Oh, your boyfriend's gone, Ellen? What do you do? It's Cider Day, the Big Apple Festival in the next county open. Most of the upperclassmen go there on field trip. It's over an hour away, so they have to leave early. Why didn't we hear about it? Because you're not an upperclassman, that's why. Freshmen aren't allowed. It's a privilege. What's an apple festival? I'm going to go in on a limb and guess that it's a festival with apples. Um, yeah. A harvest fair. Don't you have those where you come from? I don't know. They get a big old-fashioned cider press set up on the green so everyone can wash the apples being crushed and they sell jugs of it. Ooh, that sounds good. There's lots of food. Apple donuts, apple sausages, apple upside down cake, caramel apples, squash apple soup. Oh, God. Well, it's not all apples. Apples and apple byproducts. Big bake sale, craft sale, art contest, and there's fiddlers in the day, and then a contra dance in the evening. From the look on Ellen's face, she has no idea what a contra dance is, but she's not going to ask. 
So the seniors are going off to a dance without us. Well, it doesn't matter. What should I do today? Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go to the mall, blow off some stress. What should I do at the mall today? Uh, I haven't been to the games arcade yet. There are only a few old-style video games with joysticks and buttons here. Most of the arcade is filled with racing games, dance pads, claw grabbers, things that give out tickets for prizes, and a surprisingly large collection of pinball machines. Play dance game, play pinball. I'm playing some DDR. I work up a sweat, jumping and tapping to the latest hits. This is more fun than gym class. Strength increases by one. What, I don't burn any stress doing that? After dinner, I'm walking back to my room with Ellen and Virginia when I notice a small box sitting in front of the door. Oh, snap. Another box? Oh, not again. She pulls back a foot to kick the offending object, then pauses. Good call, Virginia. Hey, Stumpelda, this one's for you. Me? I peer down at the box. Sure enough, it says, To Stumpelda in flowing letters. Nothing about who sent it. I'm gonna guess Damien. Fuck that guy. Is this another one of Donald's tricks? Why would he send it to me? I'm gonna open the box. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know why anyone would send me a present, but I don't know why anyone would send me a prank, either. Let's see what it is. I pick it up. Too heavy for clothing. It opens up here. It's... Oh! It's a pie! Cool! A golden, flaky pastry lattice covers a filling of spiced fruit. Probably apple. But how did it get here? Some upperclassman must have brought it from the festival, I guess. Oh god, please let it not be a cat poop pie. Ooh, maybe it's from William. Why would he be sending Stump Elda a pie? Oh, you jelly. What, our Stump Elda isn't good enough to send a pie to? Ellen looks away. Oops, Virginia doesn't know about Ellen's crush on William, does she? He would probably have left a note if it were him. Maybe it was Isabel taking pity on us poor freshmen. Do we have a fridge or anything? Nope, you're just gonna have to eat it. <laughs> you can't eat a whole pie. Fuck you, I will. I will eat a whole pie if I want to. I'll share it, though. I'll be nice. Of course not. We'll share. Let's go back to the cafeteria and find some plates and forks. Woo! I'm not sure. I don't know if I like apple pie. I've never eaten it. Why? What? You have lived a sheltered-ass life, Ellen. What? How can you have never had apple pie? That's like a requirement of American culture. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be from which culture? I'm American first. <laughs> I grew up here just as much as you guys did, you know. Anyway, if you aren't sure, this is the perfect time to try some, right? If you don't like it, Virginia will eat your share. You bet. We split the pie amongst us, and it is delicious. Okay. <sighs> well, what a lovely week this has been. So I am going to take a break, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.